nothing. You Can we put George Soros and the Clinton dynasty in a gas chamber now? They're not making this show very exciting, and we the people deserve a plot twist M. Night Shyamalan style. What about the Obama dynasty? Can we the people hang them on trees for their crimes against our communities? Could we the people draw and quarter the Rothschilds and Rockefellers for having killed billions of us over the centuries? I mean, it's perfectly justifiable at this point. All we need to do is arrange the meeting, you know? How about the Bush dynasty? Should we the people treat them like the bullies did to the toxic Avenger and drown them in vats of acid? What if we the people dissolved democracy as a whole and blew all the Democrats and their courts in the FBI, Justice Department, and Intel community to Kingdom Come, Tchaikovsky style? Don't you dare get me started on the real life equivalent of Todd Browning's freaks that are terrorism. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> See, this is what I'm talking about. This is why I was shadow banned for a godforsaken week. the most damning thing. This is courtesy of my friend, Wendy Tap at PK9Lover. Oh, this is great. This is so fucking awesome, man. You're not going to believe this. The FBI was with her. The CIA was with her. The DOJ was with her. The media was with her. Twitter was with her. Facebook was with her. Hollywood was with her. The body order administration, also known as Barack Obama, was with her. Donald John Trump and we, the people, beat them all to fuck. Now, if that doesn't tell you anything, nothing else will. And you better believe that too, or else I'll knock the shit right out of your fucking mouth. I don't care. You don't get a say. 
You don't deserve a say. Because of Donald Trump, more Americans are now employed than ever recorded before in United States history. Yeah! You punk ass motherfuckers in the deep state and shadow governments couldn't kill us off. Cause your golden bitch lost! That's right, you fuckers! She lost! Pieces of shit! And you wonder why everybody wants to see you pieces of fucking filth dead! feature so this is a, um, a vegetarian um free no vegetarian approved no meat on this cheeseburger let me and um, we'll just explain it to you now 
my girlfriend mom. So this is very low calories, oh, very low fat, yeah. very healthy for you. Okay, oh. this is the other. This is the other. shot like a fucking boss! Yeah! That's our kind of guy! Yeah, we need him on the NBA! Oh, look at this guy. Look at, guy. Look at the muscular dude. Oh, yeah. oh! Hells yeah! That's what I'm talking about! Uh oh. No! Oh, God. being bad. Dude, you're getting a little too close. Bye bye. The fucking Titanic. Whoa, boom. I want it. 
my bag. Probably. I want the pink donkey. <laughs> Don't get too close to this thing. Are you kidding me right now? Uh, <laughs> oh look at the seven two. Oh! Yeah, be ready. Oh! Those are four, buddy. No, one of those are four. In February, you introduced the Assault Weapons Ban and Law Enforcement Protection Act of 2007. It would regulate semi-automatic assault weapons, including weapons that have pistol grips, a forward grip, and something called a barrel shroud. Weapons with a barrel shroud would be regulated. What's a barrel shroud, and why should we regulate it? I think, I think the more important thing is that it also would have had banned the large capacity clips that right. Colin Ferguson had but used, I, and also uh, the killer. Okay. But I, I read the, I read the legislation. I'm sorry. I read the legislation that said that it would regulate barrel shrouds. What's a barrel shroud, and why should we regulate that? The guns that were chosen back in the, in those days were basically the guns that most gangs and criminals were using to kill our, our police officers. I'm not saying it was the best bill, but that was the best bill. You know, what about a barrel shroud? I actually don't know what barrel shroud is. It's, it's in your a legislation. shoulder thing that goes up. A <laughs> no more, no more. To prevent terrorists from obtaining this rifle and is urging New York State lawmakers to pass the Anti Terrorism and Aviation Protection Act. <laughs> this is crazy. You can't certainly use this for hunting. But some of these bullets, as you saw, have an incendiary device on the tip of it, which is a heat seeking device. So you don't shoot deer with a bullet Jackass. that size. If you do, you could cook it at the same time. Time has come, America, uh, to step up and ban these jackass. weapons. The other very important She's worth two hundred million dollars, but one hundred and ninety-five million of it is completely stolen. Those that hold you stole our land. money. We have federal regulations Give it back to us. Laws that prohibit hunting ducks with more than three rounds, and yet it's legal to hunt humans. Illegal to hunt humans? Why don't we hunt you down, you piece of shit? It's time to die. You piece of shit! Boom! Yeah, man! You go 
gonna hunt shit. you down. This shit ain't Diane, gonna take Feinstein. Did you win anything but fine? I Thank you. Play game. You're as yes. fine as a gay $3 bill. Yes. You piece of this shit. Begins I'm gonna shoot you down, yes. Diane Feinstein, and your yeah. entire Democratic Party, too. You and you're gonna lie. You a piece of crap. Us to eat. A nice Pull a horse dung and a fucking bunch of cow shit. Yo, dumb Maybe God will have Shells with 12 gauge shotgun. And I promise you, as I told my oh, wife, we live in an area so that's Joe, wooded and like somewhat secluded. I said, Jill, if there's ever a problem, just I walk out on the balcony here, or walk out, put that double barrel shotgun and fire two blasts outside the house. I promise you, who's ever coming in is not going to. Shoot him! Shoot him! Shoot his ass! Yeah, shoot his ass! This is, these are um, ammunition. They're bullets. So the people who have those now, they're going to shoot them. And so if you ban, if you ban them in the future, the number of these high capacity magazines is going to decrease dramatically over time because the bullets will have been shot and there won't be any more available. Oh, really? Now that's a crock of bullshit. <laughs> Yo, you're gonna die. Those who support the bill say even an unloaded gun is still dangerous. There's been a lot of people. Another dumbass. Say hey, you come back here. Well, oh, these are bullets. These new 3D printers, which can be purchased oh, for about thousand dollars, allow Hold guns to be made perfectly functioning, what? firing guns what without any. Let's shit on another. Well, let's just look at the assault weapons ban. Yep. We had one in this country for ten years. <laughs> <laughs> It's pretty hard to design on it like the ideas of all weapons then because it's so easy to read them right right now and they have to just create a web to that. I'm going to buy a lot of bullets very, very quickly. That's a good place to start. How about a good place to stop? Talk. By the way, this is what my friend Sheller is. 21 on YouTube, the phone feed. Yeah, shoot his ass. You piece of shit. Yeah. This episode of Savage Level Mega Null is sponsored by Smokey the Bear. <laughs> Damn, Smokey. Because only you can prevent the election of dumbass jack-off politicians who fuck Weishaupt and Rockefeller and Rothschild with their dicks and cunts. And wildfires. It's also been sponsored by the Corporation for Public Broadcasting, which is paid in part by suckers like you. Now get out. No, seriously, get out before you get shot. Well, oh, look, you big man. Yeah. Oh, my head.